Yo, what is up, guys? It is Pup. Uh, I'm coaching the Las Vegas Rose Raiders, and this is week one of the playoffs of the PSL. Um, I thought that I was going to get a bye according to the rules in the dock, but apparently they were changed and just not put in the dock, which is fine. I mean, I'm not upset at all. Nope, not. Um, but, I mean, after the regular season, we're sitting number one in our division at four and one, I think like plus 16 or something crazy on the differential um that puts us number two overall there's one team that went five and oh um but we are sitting in a really good spot we are like somewhat favorites to make it to the championship game uh we have probably one of the easier paths hopefully i hope i don't regret saying that um so i mean we are in a really really good spot we also uh had minior who's the kill leader right now uh, tied with diancy from the atlanta falcon knights both at 11 kills and one death for a plus 10 differential. Um, so those are our like accomplishments. We also had Trap Ghost uh, set number 15 on the board. Uh, Tauros is number 29 on the board uh, after their really strong weeks the past couple. Um, so I think we had a really, really successful season and I'm hoping that uh, through the playoffs we can, um, you know, we can make it, uh, make it and go to the championship, hopefully. We also have had a couple of trade offers um, thrown on the table for a couple of our key mons, and at this point, I'm really unsure about how next season's gonna look for my team. Right now, Raging Bull and Victini are um, are gonna be free agents, so that's gonna be really tough to pass on. Um, I'm gonna have to drop those two. I think I have a couple more Pokemon that are going to be going. Let me take a quick list here. Yeah, also the Tauros, Levani, and Bearskuda are all going to be free agents in the next season. Uh, but we have uh, Trap Ghost for another two, Namorous for one, Registrago for two, Runerigus and Fortress for one, and Minior for another two. So we have our like key pieces. So Trap Ghost and Minior are on for an extra two uh, seasons. So I'm feeling pretty good about how we're going to look next season. Hopefully we won't have to rebuild, even though we're getting rid of two of our top tiers. We're going to have plenty of points to uh, be able to pick up what other people are also dropping. Uh, but let's get right to this matchup. Uh, we're fighting Lux and the Kansas City Charizards. They are the one team in the playoffs that are actually a uh, negative record. They are 2-3 and three plus 4. Uh, I mean, it's impressive to get plus 4 on a 2-3 and three record. But uh, in the Scarlet Division, they have three teams that... Uh, have three and two records that miss the playoffs so it's really uh tough to see them uh miss it especially because it's Isid and ryan who uh i beat both of those and even last week i beat ryan uh 6-0 which um yeah i mean it would be nice to have them in the playoffs to uh potentially be able to have another read on them later but that's all right we get to fight lux and Lux has a pretty scary team. Let's go over them right now. I'll start. I'll start off with Lux. Okay, they've got Infernape, uh, Ogre Pond, the regular form. They have Empoleon, Mimikyu, Gothitelle. They have Niligo, Galvantula, Piloswine, Hisui Braviary, um, Galarian Mr. Mime, and a Zangoose. And then my team for all you people who do not know. Is Trap Ghost, we have Raging Bolt, we have Victini, uh, Enamorous, Regidrago, we have Rune Regis, we have Fortress. Doesn't show up right here for some dumb reason, but I have the Aqua Tauros. Uh, we have Minior, we have Levani, and we have Bear Scuda. Um, and in this battle, Bear Scuda looks absolutely disgusting. Um, they really don't have any switch ins for this thing, even not Choice Banded. So I'm not going to run Choice Banded this week just because I don't want to click uh, Choice Banded Close Combat into the Goth Tell and get trapped and lose this thing because it's really, really good even without Banned. Um, a especially defensive Empoleon can never switch into us because it dies to Liquidation plus Close Combat most of the time, uh, especially after Rocks are up. So I feel like this thing is going to be insane. It outspeeds every mod on their team if they don't have a Scarfer. Uh, and we can throw a lot of investment into HP, as you guys can see my EVs down there, and even go Adamant. Uh, this thing absolutely obliterates Infernape. Uh, it beats the Empoleon. It destroys Mimikyu. It destroys Gothitelle, Niligo, Galvantula, Piloswine. It, it destroys everything on their team. Uh, 
the flip turn is really really good to just go get momentum and it does a million percent anyways liquidation is obviously our main hitter close combat is there for the uh empoleon and aqua jet is there in case they are running like a scarfed infernape which i think could be really really good against me or like a uh, plus one trailblazing um on the ogre pond uh, it could be scary and just get some chip on that thing would be nice. It also outspeeds the Shadow Snake from Mimikyu, so I thought that would be really good to have. And I'm rocking Heavy Duty Boots because they have Sticky Webs, and I'm hoping that they don't get the Sticky Webs up. I have a pretty, actually really fun lead to try to like steer them away from getting the webs up, but you know, if they do get them up, it's fine by me. You know, I have this thing still going to outspeed everything on their team. Hopefully they don't bring any Scarfers because they're bringing the webs. And that's really my thought process behind this guy. Next up, we're going to have Rune Regus. I'm rocking a Rindo Berry on this one. Um, and we're having the Tox Spikes, Memento, Nightshade, and Haze. Uh, Haze is there in case stuff wants to set up. Nasty Plot, Infernape. They have like Sword Stance, Ogre Pond. They have Sword Stance, Mimikyu. They have Calm Mining, Gothitelle. Uh, they have Nasty Plot and Illigo, um, Calm Mind Braviary, like all that stuff can be super scary. Haze is really good. Uh, Memento is also really good. We can go set up with one of our uh, two setup threats. Nightshade will always break subs on, I think, every single Pokemon on their team. So they can't even uh, beat us with Gothitelle and we can always just Memento to get out of there. Um, and Toxic Spikes, they don't have a Grounded Poison. They also don't have good spinning options. Um, they have like Defog and Polion. Uh, they have Spin on Mr. Mime, and I think they might have Defog on his Sweet Braviary. But I mean, that's really nothing. Um, we're also running Max Defense, and I'm pretty sure we can eat a plus two Ivy Cudgel from the Ogre Pond. We can also eat a Energy Ball from the Galvantula and a Grass Knot from the Infernape with our Rindo Berry. So I thought this set would be pretty nice. Just rocking Terra Ghost on this thing. Uh, if I do Terra, it's just to get rid of that grass weakness, uh, which I mean, it could be really nice. I really want to Terra um, either my Minior or I'm also bringing an Amorous. So those two are my Terra Mons. Uh, that's why I didn't even mention it on Barrasquito. We'll go back here. I'm rocking Terra Dark uh, just in case that uh, Gothitel does come in and trap me. Um, I can Terra Dark in its face and just click Liquidation. And it can't really touch me with much. It can maybe like click toxic, but it's not really gonna do anything. But then our third mon, this is our designated lead actually. We got Minior, Rock and Wakan Berry, Shell Smash, Rock Blast, Acro, and EQ. So this is a really, really fun set. Um, I'm EV'd to take a Thunder from Galvantula and it'll always bring me down below half, but never kill. I don't even th I don't even think it kills with a crit. We also live choice specs if they end up being that. Uh, but we can shell smash in its face. Uh, hopefully we don't get parried, but uh, we don't talk about that. But I can shell smash in its face, and then Rock Blast will absolutely destroy it, even if it has Focus Ash. Uh, it'll also destroy a Mimikyu, uh, even through their disguise. It'll do so much damage to them. We also have the normal Terra types, so they can't Shadow Sneak us. Um, we're rocking a lot of speed on this thing, because if they end up like bringing Pile of Swine and switching into that after... I'm not going to burn my Terra just to like do 50% to Pile Swine with Rock Blast or Earthquake or Acro. Uh, so I can save this thing for later and it's actually really good into them. Uh, it's my highest speed tier besides Barrasquita so I can outspeed the Infernape and destroy it with Acrobatics. I can uh, outspeed the Ogre Pond and destroy that thing too. It's just really good to have in the back and I can use it as a just regular offensive threat instead of a sweeper in this game uh, after the first couple turns. So I thought that would be pretty nice. Uh, hopefully we'll catch them off guard. Um, they're probably preparing for the Shell Smash set, probably bringing the Pile Swine, Eviolite, Max Fizz Def to be able to live that stuff. Um, and I can just switch out. And if I get a free switch into Bear Skuda on that Ice Shard, I just get a free kill with Liquidation, which is amazing. Next up, we got Raging Bolt. Obviously, it doesn't show the picture because it's Showdown, um, but we, lo we love Showdown. Um, we're rocking a Salt Vest set with a Thunderclap. Volt Switch, Draco Meteor, and Discharge. Um, max HP, max special attack on a modest nature with a little bit of special defense. This thing can eat up hits from a Infernape. They are like Choice Specs, Fire Blast. It does a decent chunk, but it's not going to kill me. I can also eat up like Aura Spheres. It's also really good into eating hits from Galvantula. I can eat uh, hits from Naligo. Even if they set up with like Meteor Beam, I can still eat 
uh, earth powers, even nasty plot boosted one. I can still eat one. I can throw off a discharge. I can thunderclap them. I can do a lot of damage. And I also just eat up hits from the goth tell as well. So I thought this was a really, really necessary bring against them because they have so many special threats. And I think uh, a Specs Infernape or a Scarf Special Infernape is really scary in my team. So I thought that it was uh, pretty necessary to have an Assault Vespawn and Raging Bolt is perfect for that with a base 125 HP. Uh, 89 special defense is also pretty nice, and this thing can throw off massive attacks with a base 137 special attack. And the fifth, we have probably our win con for this week. We have Enamorous, rocking Terra Poison with leftovers, with Calm Mind, Draining Kiss, Earth Power, Iron Defense. Uh, if I get an Iron Defense and a Calm Mind up, nothing on their team can hit, can kill me in like more than four hits, and I have Draining Kiss and leftovers. Um, Draining Kiss will just be able to destroy everything. Um, I can set up all over the Mimikyu actually, even if they're Swords Dancing. As long as they do not get a crit on me, then I will always beat them. Um, because even at neutral, their Shadow Claw is doing maybe 25% max based on the spread. And we can just Draining Kiss that back, leftovers. Uh, we can set up our Calm Minds in their face, and we can just easily destroy them. Uh, one thing that I am worried about is the Gothitel for this thing. Uh, Gothitel does have a chance to actually beat me, depending, especially on their Terra type. Um, and like, if we Terra Poison, uh, Terra Poison's there to dodge any like Toxics, or um, I mean, it's also just pretty good defensively into them. Um, but I feel like it could be really scary to go into the Gothitel. So if we don't see Gothitel, then this thing is absolutely free to set up on most of the Pokemon on their team and uh, we just sweep from there. That's really the, the goal. I have a little bit of speed on this thing. I want to uh, to outspeed the Piloswine. I'd rather it not have chances to flinch me with Icicle Crash, so I'm going with uh, just enough speed to outspeed it. And last up, we have Trapagos. Obviously, it doesn't show here, uh, but we're rocking a uh, red card set. So if they do end up setting up with an Ogre Pawn, like getting a couple uh, too many sword stances up, or if they set up with the Infernape, they set up with Gothitelle, set up with anything, I can switch into this. It'll always eat one hit because of the Terra Shell, and I can red card it out uh, to make sure we don't get swept. I've also got Rapid Spin, uh, so I can get rid of the Hazards. Terra Star Storm uh, does a number to their team. Toxic is really nice. They only have one immunity to that, not two immunities. Sorry, but it still does amazing work into them. And then Thunderbolt is there. Uh, it's mostly there just to hit Empoleon. I could have brought Earth Power, but I thought the Thunderbolt was just a little bit better. Um, I feel like they could also bring like the Braviary, which this hits. They could bring, um, you know, they have the Terry Ghost on stuff. They also have a Ghost type of Mimikyu, obviously. So Thunderbolt's gonna hit that. Um, I mean, this thing doesn't really want to stay in on like a lot of the biggest threats, but it's there to make sure that we don't get swept by anything. So I thought that was really important to have on the team to round it out. Um, but really the game plan for this thing is lead off with Minior into the Galvantula, um, get the Galvantula gone. If they set up webs in our face, then we're actually in a really good spot um, because we will outspeed it. Uh, based on our EVs and we can just kill it and keep our uh, shell activated. Uh, we will also keep our Wakan Berry in case they're like a Thunder Punching Infernape, um, in case they're Thunderbolt Gothitelle, so we can still eat up those. They have Thunderbolt on Naligo as well, that could also be a big threat to us. So we keep that Wakan Berry, they might just expect us to switch out, so I mean, I'd be in a pretty good spot uh, there, and they don't really have anything that would want to come in on a uh, mini or even in my shell form. Um, when I'm plus two, I'm still going to do too much damage to everything on their team. So that's about it for this team builder, and let's move over right over to this battle. Alright, here we go. They bring a little bit of a different team than I'm expecting. They have the Zangoose, uh, but they do bring Galavantula, so that leads me to believe I can lead Minior and hopefully just, you know, do our thing. Um, yeah, I, I feel like in this game, Enamorous looks really great. Uh, as long as that Infernape is not like Choice Specs. I mean, Choice Band would also suck. Um, yeah, but let's just lead Minior. They lead Ogre Pond, which is crazy, to be completely honest. Um, and Ogre Pond, 
I mean, if they're like choice banded set, then they're gonna kill me, I think. Uh, no, actually, choice banded Ogre Pond never kills. Um, but I won't kill with Acro unless I get to my other form. And if it puts me in the other form, then it still isn't killing until I'm plus two. So I feel like I just smash here. They knock off, so I mean, there goes my item. I'm gonna outspeed them now and just kill them with Acro. And they don't have a good switch into this. They go Pile of Swine. Yeah, I mean, figured. Um, at this point, what does Ice Shard do? Ice Shard doesn't seem to be a kill unless they're like very invested. And if they're like 252 not adamant, then they definitely don't kill. Um, I could also just Terra, but I'm never going to kill them in one anyways. Hmm. I'm just going to acro. They let me get the damage off and kill me with Icicle Crash, which is completely fine. Um, I mean, yeah. That's pretty much how it was supposed to play out if they didn't lead with the Galvantula. And I just go Bear Skewda and Liquidation is super free versus their team. So I'm going to click it. Yeah, this is super free. We didn't get any real read on the... Um, on the Ogre Pond set, which is unfortunate. So I'm hoping that they're not Scarfed, because Scarfed Ogre Pond is the only real way that they deal with my Bear Skewta here. Even like Zangus doesn't take it. I mean, I'm not too familiar with Toxic Boost, but I feel like I'll be fine. Liquidation into Aqua Jet usually kills anyways, depending on what set they are. So let's see what they bring in to take this Liquidation. Uh, because it's not going to be pretty. They just go hard Galvantula. Takes 89. Um, and I'm just going to Jet here. I don't want to risk them being like a Choice Scarf or even Custap for any reason. Uh, and even if they Terra, like no matter what Terra they have, uh, it should always kill. So they drew first blood against my Minior, but I got a pretty good break on that Pilot Swine and a free kill with Bear Skewda. Um, and Minior wasn't supposed to sweep in this game. That's not its job. Uh, I'm so, like, shaky and nervous. Okay, they go M. And then my Aqua Jet did about 11. So that looks max, uh, max specially defensive. I'm just gonna flip turn here. And I think I have a free switch into Raging Bolt. And I can Bolt Switch. I think that sounds about right. They Scald me, does zero. Uh, they do get the burn though, which is unfortunate. But I'm just gonna fire off a Bolt Switch they want to go into Pile of Swine, that's okay with me. I don't even think an offensive Pile of Swine would end up killing me with Earthquake. Uh, even if they end up being like Adamant, they cannot kill me. So get that Volt Switch off. Um, I still want to keep my Trap Ghost in the back. So I'm going to go uh, Rune. I think Rune will take two from this Emp. And no, it doesn't take two Scalds or Surfs. Uh, but if they just want to set up rocks in my face, then I'm fine to do that. Let's see what they end up doing. They Ice Beam me. Oh, and they get the Freeze. That's horrible. Hmm. They do just Roost. I'm going to go back out into Raging Bolt here. On the Scald. I mean, I have to play to like unfreeze i'm gonna discharge here they could easily go pilo on this turn i'm in a really bad spot uh that freeze puts me in a tough spot but it, a para here would be insane nice good 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 um that is like justice for sure if they're max speed i'll always outspeed them and draco kills ah they're scarfed okay they are scarfed 
but I do kill them with the Draco. The crit does not matter. Mineral is 83% uh, versus a like Jolly Set. And they end up going Galvantula. Uh, if they want to set up their webs, that's fine. Volt Switch should always kill. They do set up the webs. Um, and... Hmm. I think I can just go Terrapagos. Seems pretty free versus them. I have my Terra Shift. They go hard, like straight out to Infernape. Which is crazy. Um, so I can either spin here or just tear Star Storm or Toxic this thing. Uh, I don't need to spin. Terra Star Storm is just my best play, I think. As they fake me out, get rid of my Terra Shell. I get the red card out. They go Zangus with the Toxic Boost. And I don't need the spin. I think damage is just really insane. This thing's going to do a lot. And their facade uh, is definitely not going to kill me. Close combat does not on a crit. That's very lucky by them. But I get a Terra Star Storm kill at least. Uh, they can go into Infernape and Revenge kill me. Um, but knowing that they are fake out makes me feel so much better because my bear skewda is heavy duty boots they miss a fire blast which is unfortunate um i mean i don't get the spin off there they hit me with the fire blast that time their life orb i get to go bear skewda and i think bear skewda could clean at this point because i am heavy duty boots they go empoleon and Polion gets a defense drop, which doesn't matter, because this would always kill anyways. They go Piloswine. Oh, Jet was actually a very bad misplay there. <laughs> yeah, that was actually a really bad play by me. Um, I'm going to sack off Rune. Completely forgot about their Terra. I'm just going to click Memento. It's fine. I could go Raging Bolt. Um, I should outspeed them, but also I can go Enamorous. No, I'm going to go Raging Bolt. I can Thunderclap them. Which I could do. I will Thunderclap. I do get the kill. And then I should also kill Infernape with Thunderclap. And I didn't even have to bring out the NAM, which was my, like, you know, my, my ace in this game. So I just get the kill with Thunderclap, and that's a good game. Um, the, the defense drop on um, Empoleon did not matter one bit, because they show that they were specially defensive. So no matter what, um, they're at like 82% or something. Uh, close combat was always killing. Yeah, close combat does 82 to 97%. So I would always get the kill with close combat there. Even if I don't, I'm in a really, really good spot there to just set up with Enamorous and win. Um, so that, that's a really, really good start to the playoffs. Hopefully we can continue this momentum next week. Uh, we've been doing so well. I think this is my fifth win in a row. I lost the first week of the season won four in a row to make it the playoffs and I won this one we're gonna have a little bit um we're gonna have a tough matchup next week I mean this one is definitely tough too um and they played very very well don't get me wrong but uh it, it's definitely gonna be tough uh to clutch it out but that's about it for this week and I'll see you guys next week's of the playoffs peace out